video, I'm going to show you how to properly mask and erase things on your canvas. So let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, you wanted this cat here in the middle, but the original image in the background of this looked like this. But you didn't want this fire guy, you wanted something else. So all you have to do is grab a circle and resize the circle and put it right where you want it to go. So let's go ahead and resize it, put that there. There you go, and kind of cover that up just like so. And then you want to match the color. So in this case, it's white. So you want to make sure it's white. And then you could gr grab a clip art and add it to this canvas. So I could put in cat, for example. So let's go up here to the search, and I'm going to search for cat. And I could just do this one here. And I'm going to resize it. There you go. Uh, move it over with my mouse so I really get it in there. Maybe resize it just a little bit more. There you go. And that's basically how to mask it so you could cover things up. Mind you, when you do press save, there's going to be a white area of that. So that's not going to be transparent um, because you did mask it with a white area. Uh, thing. So notice right here it's white and this background gray area that's where it's transparent right there. And I'm going to show you how to match your transparency to that next. So let's get into that. So on this one here's a really good example of what I did. What I did is I it originally looked like this and then when I added that a block so all I did is added a square right here and I made it white then I just added a surfboard here and it looks like this but the problem here is because it has these outer edges when you save it it will look like this so we'll have this block right there well obviously because I put a block there so to make this easier for me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a white background by going up on the top settings here and clicking color fill what this will do is it'll match my white background so I'm gonna make this absolutely white you'll notice it'll say FFF is white and um, if you want it black you could just do zero 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 so that's just how you know it's the colors white so you know your eyes aren't playing tricks on you so there you go now it's white you won't see anything because we have a white canvas and, but you will see this background here in the back. What I want to do now is crop it. So let's make sure we crop it by clicking that crop button down here. It opened up this crop th tool. And now I'm going to go ahead and crop it right where I want it. So let's do that. Let's go here. I'm going to leave a little spacing on the outer edges. There you go. There you go, right there, maybe. Okay, and once I do that, I'm going to press return or enter on the keyboard, just like that. And now it crops it perfectly. So now when I save it, I'll go to this right here. Now you don't see that block because we have a white background matching that block. Now, mind you, you could have a black block and a white and a, and a black background. But you would need to change this black right here so it didn't blend in with that. So that's basically how you mask stuff and make it look like you erase stuff so you could really have a custom logo that's yours and it doesn't look like anyone else's.